Hey guys, I'm Esther and you're welcome to Life Personified. <laughs> yes, so we are back from the light of worship. Yes, it was an amazing time and this episode is going to be all about the testimonies and the things that happened like during, before and after planning the light of worship. If you're interested in this video, stay tuned. you're new here welcome to the light family welcome to life person 5 on life person 5 it's all about faith worship and music we pray together worship together we share playlists testimonies and experiences from christians dealing with real issues in a changing world and i would love you to be a part of life person 5 fam so if you're not yet a part of life person 5 fam please subscribe to this channel and please click the notification bell so that you're always on track and if you're returning if you're returning if you are in the last episode if you are at light of worship if you are returning welcome back welcome back guys thank you so much for always always tuning in and if um you're a new subscriber to welcome to this wonderful family it's great to have you here all right so guys let's get straight into this video all right before we start i'm going to be reading a scripture and this scripture is going to be um taken from psalm chapter 107 verse 1 and it reads give thanks to the lord for he is good his love endures forever so yes we're going we're going to be talking about light of worship testimonies from light of worship things that happened like while i was planning the program and basically how god showed up and how he showed through the whole program so um yeah so i'm going to start quickly so first of all um first of all i want to even first like say thank you to everybody who showed up for light of worship if you did not watch um if you are not around for light of worship or if you're just connecting and you don't know what light of worship is all about light of worship was a program we had last um last saturday and um, basically what we did was to just come and just worship our father so we uh we were in a studio and it was live streamed for everybody to connect and there were a few people attend like attending physically but the main aim of the program was for us to be able to worship our father in, in spirit and in truth and um to worship it to worship him um sincerely like without asking him for any things like having our focus completely on him so um that was light of worship and it was an amazing program god was blessed people were blessed and yes if you didn't if you did if you missed the light of worship you can still go back to the channel i'm going to link it here so you can still go back to the channel and watch light of worship till today when i re like rewatch it i'm still being blessed because some things like some some things i i was my mind was on so many things during the program so um there were times where i was fully focused there were times where i had to be thinking about okay coordinating the program so um there were some things i didn't even pay attention to during the program and while watching it again I, I like everything was making sense i was hearing more things and it was just a nice program so if you if you did not like if you missed light of worship you can always go back to the channel and watch light of worship but today's episode i'm going to be telling you guys the testimonies of how um everything came to be all right so it all started um okay so for the first one we had we actually had the light of worship last year and the one we had last year was a it was like it was a really close event it was streamed or like live completely live but um we had just like maybe two or three people apart from the music team that were physically invited so that was, how, that was how it happened last year however when i was like planning um for this year and like everything i kept having that feeling that it would be good to have more people there was even someone that had even suggested it that oh it's nice to have more people um on the program i made sure my spirit was at peace with that and i my spirit was at peace with inviting a few more people to attend physically and i feel like um now looking back that really helped the program because it just kind of made it easier to worship and really be in that space when you can actually see people um physically responding to you so that's um that really helped for the program so 
um yeah so when i was planning for the program last last year i gave a testimony on the channel i'll link it here as well last year i gave a testimony on how the light of worship all happened how um like money just came out of nowhere the idea just came up and suddenly um, the money was just coming for the program so but then this year the instruction was different from last year i already got instructions that i should start saving some money for the light of worship so that like there's there's um a certain amount of money that i normally save um for like kingdom rated stuff but then this one specifically i got instructions to save some money for light personified so i was saving some money for light personified and um like that's another thing like when god sends you to do something he would always supply the need so even as i was saving the money there were times where I'll not be expecting a certain amount of money and I'll get even more and I have more to save. So by like um, maybe June or so or was it June or May? But like maybe around June or May, I had like the amount of money I had was um, was substantial, like was substantial, like was quite enough. And I'm like, wow, it wasn't the total amount I needed because I, didn't, I hadn't even done a like, proper budget on like how much I, I plan to spend. But... I just knew that okay like this like if anything what i have now is even more than what i had last year so it's going to be there's a lot more because i had more ideas more things i wanted to do for light of worship this year so it was like there was more money and i was really happy about that and um even towards the towards the program there were still more opportunities to give more opportunities to uh, increase my uh, my giving towards light of worship so when the time finally came for um the light of worship i think i mentioned it on light of worship that um i, I went to one of my friends i told him okay that i'm doing this program and i like i would like you to minister and all that and it was like no problem should we are we using the same studio we used last year and i was like no i want something better so before i go to that yeah before i go to that another instruction i also got um especially at the beginning i think from like ending of august when i started talking about planning the light of worship another instruction i got was to um pray towards the program so for the um for the one of last year i had prayed but i think i had i just prayed for like the week before the program or something but this one i had a longer period of time to pray like over a month that I was planning it and um for that period of like a month or so i was i was not uh, i was like taking out time to just pray and in my prayer time i'll just focus on light of worship for some time focus on on the program focus on things i want like for the program so like i got instructions to pray ahead of the program so kind of like dispersing and you know that's another thing god really knows the kind of children that he has because uh, i i'm not like um, like I, I think i mentioned in some videos that um the kind of t um time where you spend the, like um, those kind of prayer times where i spend a lot of time it does not happen every single time so knowing the kind of daughter that he is not like not as if um it's not good to pray long hours or like go as far as that but because i have not um like god knows god will meet you at the point of your own like what you are already doing so because he knew that okay this is not where i have reached yet he didn't want me to like jam pack the prayer into one week and be doing um 10 hours prayers and all that so he he kind of gave me the instruction early to start praying for the program so sometimes i'll bring me 15 minutes today tomorrow it will be like 20 minutes day 30 minutes or sometimes even um, 45 minutes so i'll just like at different um points before the program i was always just having light person fight in my mind and there are different times even during the program that he would bring to my remembrance like maybe things that happened last year that were not good that i should pray against or pray um pray about and i'll just like focus on those things in prayer and um there were some specific things out towards the end I'll, I'll really go into what i prayed some of the things i prayed for and um things that actually like how they came to pass so um yeah so now now going to get in a studio i had um, so when i told my friend he was like okay, no problem um he, like he was like okay let's which um let's get a studio so he, he sent me different um like price rates for different studios the first one he sent their price was looking kind of interesting 
but I was like, okay, no problem. Let me find out from them. I found out from them and I found out that ah, it was a lot more than I had in mind. So I was like, hey, God, this thing that you are telling me to do, the the studio me I'm seeing is not like the price is not is not correlating with what the amount of money I've saved so far, and it's not correlating with like it's not correlating God. So this thing that you want me to do, you will do it like it's not me like i've done my own <laughs> i will leave it to you i've come to the end of me so I, i'm leaving it with you if you want this thing to happen you give get me a studio that would work and everything so that was like kind of i just kind of had that kind of that discussion with um, god and the next thing i think there was a period i was on leave so i told my um, friend that okay i'm gonna leave let's go and see different studios and pick one finally so um, so one, that day that I finally went to pick um, to look around for studios, the first studio we went to, hmm. ah, no, God is a wonderful God. The first studio we went to, it was first of all the ambience, like the, the like the environment, everything. Stepping into the place was already a wonderful place. And then um, when we now find like asked about the pricing, asked about everything, like it was. It was just what I had budgeted for that. Like it was even less than what I had budgeted for that. So he not only gave me a good space, a wonderful place for the program that could do the live streaming and everything I wanted, but then he also gave me, um, he also gave it to me at a good price, like at, at a at a price that was um, that was below my budget, like even what I had planned for. So I was so grateful to God. Like ah. It meant that I had more money saved to also like to attend to other needs that needed to be met for the program. So I was just, I was just really grateful about that. And that day, Seb, as I was going back, like we didn't have to go to any other studio after we went to that one. As I was going back, I was so excited. Like my this smile, my smile was so 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 much. Like I could not stop smiling on my way home. I was so excited, and I just kept on thanking God. Like wow, God, this thing you you've really shown yourself. So. From that uh, was went to like getting team members, getting like um, reaching out to people that wanted to minister on the program and everything. And God still showed Himself, even the times where um, He had given me instructions and I um, I I went ahead of myself. He still turned it and turned it around and still made it such that okay, what He actually wanted was what ended up happening. So I'm so grateful for that. So now that's before the event. So now. Um, like I mentioned, I had prayed about a couple of things before the event. There was a, uh, there was a picture that I had, and sometimes even when I, I would pray um, for the program, or I just like kind of imagine the program, I I there was this overwhelming um, sense of wanting to just cry my heart out to God because I don't know, like whenever I, I just pictured the program, I felt like I felt His presence so strong, and it was just amazing, like. <laughs> it was just amazing so um so i had like I, I had a picture of what i wanted what i like i desired and you know he says he gives us the, he gives us the desires of our hearts and um like now that does not mean like it's what we desire that he gives us like it's what we desire that he gives us no it, it's like he gives us what to desire so um, so those things that I was desiring in the program were the things that he put in my own spirit for me to desire for those for the program, and that that um, that that informed my prayer, the things I prayed prayed about, and um, so one thing that so when I um, let me just I'll just list things I I I wanted to happen in the program and then i would go on from there so one of the things i wanted to so some of the things that i prayed about i will mention all but some of the things i prayed about was that i didn't want any of the sick uh, any of the team members to fall sick because um i know when you're planning for something so glorious the devil is also planning to truncate that plan and i did not want any such thing so i prayed against like any of team members falling sick or maybe that day they won't be able to make it because i think something similar had even happened the year before so i was like devil you're not having any of us this year and ever so i also prayed for technical difficulties because one of the main reasons why we couldn't even start on time last year and so many other things was technical difficulties and when when i was even hearing testimonies from um from the other side I, it, it was so obvious that the devil was trying so much to just make sure that the program Will not go live to the people that were supposed to to reach so that was the second thing i focused like my prayer on 
another thing I prayed about was um, the man, like his for God's manifest presence. I didn't just want okay, like okay, when we're worshiping God, I wanted Him to be there present, and His um, I wanted people to feel His presence, feel Him there, and um, and just connect with Him. So that was one thing I, I prayed about. I also prayed for um, revival in the hearts of people. I I I mentioned earlier for people to have, like. Um, feel his presence and also for no accidents like i didn't want to say about okay as we're leaving because even the the year before as i was leaving um someone almost hit me like as i was as i was reversing to drive out of the, the, um, the place so someone, someone almost hit me and it would have been a different story so i prayed against accidents on that day so i just covered all these things in prayer and um i also prayed for the glory to fill the room and one thing that happened that kind of just confirmed it to me was um, the first thing was that even when 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 we when we entered the place and we were setting up and everything from the sound check I I also I prayed that okay like people that the moment people will step into that place they will already feel feel God's presence and from the sound check I was singing there was a song that I was singing and that song it, it came to my spirit that morning I'd been singing the song all through the week but that song specifically came into into my spirit that morning. That's Emmanuel by Frank Edwards featuring Moses Bliss. I think um, Nani Giboezi. I don't know if it's Emmanuel or Nani Giboezi. I'll put it here. So that was the song that was in my spirit um, that morning. I listened to the song in the morning and it was just in my spirit. So that, that was the song that I used to do the sound check. And even from singing the sound check, we could already feel his presence in the room. Like, sound check. It's not... <laughs> It's not um, like we, are, we had started the program. Sound check. I could already feel his presence in the room. And then um, Mr. Richard, that's one of the team members, started the um, prayer. And I had, I had not told him. I had, I, had a, I had an impression in my heart that, okay, I would want him to pray. But I didn't tell him until we were there. And I also know, please, Mr. Mr. Richard, I would love you to, I would really like you to um, handle the prayer session before we start and he was like okay no problem and then he, he started praying and as he was praying it, some of the prayer points that me had been praying about like for the period before the, the um, program those are the prayer points that mr richard was mentioning in prayer and i was like god you really confirm your word like you are you are you are a god that should be feared like i was just amazed especially the prayer he will he there's a part where he mentioned that prayer his glory will fill this place as he mentioned that prayer, I was like, God, I thank you because like this is what I this is what I was praying for. So it was such a confirmation for me. And when the program actually um, started, like from the beginning, I could already like we could already feel his presence. He was just there and he was there all through the program, even till after. God is such a wonderful God. Ah, He's such a wonderful Father. And I'm so grateful. Like, oh God, I'm so grateful for the light of worship. Ah, man. So back to um, the things that happened that like, I prayed for that happened. Then I prayed um, the morning, actually, in the morning when I had even started, um, when I came downstairs, I I looked out and I noticed that there were some clouds gathering and I prayed against bad weather. I was like, okay, I prayed that there would be good weather then i like i mentioned so i prayed for the, that there'll be good weather and then that morning till the end of the program till we got home there was good weather like it did not rain at all so that did not delay anybody no one was sick i even woke up that morning and i was feeling a headache and i i just pushed away like this is not going to stop me from going for this program so no one was sick like if you um, didn't come at the right time but there was no situation like, okay my, my like any of the team members called in sick and they couldn't attend the program so so there was that that distraction was gone like it could not even come close um there were no technical issues like we entered we asked them to arrange everything everything like we arranged everything we connected um the live stream connected like ev- no technical issues whatsoever like guys <laughs> none whatsoever and god is just so wonderful like then um another thing that happened last year was that because a lot of things were going wrong like the um, technical issues everything was just against me like against the program i was so tensed i was trying to pray in tongues i was trying to concentrate i was trying to just be calm and i could not be calm i was so under pressure 
to like come live and everything but this year at 3 30 we were we had not even started my friend was even telling me uh, mr sam he was one like he was telling me like it's the time like it's almost 3 30 i was supposed to go live now we are not yet done sound check but i was i was so calm i was not worried i was not like i was just like okay yeah no problem we'll, we'll get to it okay let's do it like i was so calm and that is a huge testimony because and the kind of person that I can I can get like I can overthink things and get so worked up about things, but I was so calm, even though like time was running and we were already in, eating into our time, I was so calm and I thank God for that because that really helped me even my flow into the program and the entire flow. So I thank God for that. Um I didn't even pray for that, but he, he knew that I needed to be calm and he made that happen for me. Um Yes, I mentioned that we were doing the sound check and we could already feel God's manifest presence. Like we could already feel like He was there. So even as people were coming into the, the um, studio, they were already feeling His presence. Like God is amazing. God is amazing. Then, um, yeah. So people, another thing was that people were blessed. I got lots of testimonies of like people, met, like um, people telling me afterwards that wow, I was so blessed by your program. I I felt His presence so much. I like. He, presence was intense and people were blessed and that that like that was the if not for anything the fact that people were blessed was the main reason why it all happened for people to know god for people to to connect with him for people to worship him um sincerely from their hearts and i and i and i and that happened like there was a point in the program where i was just um where um, um minister queen had finished ministering and then i came up and I, I was just worshiping and i opened my eyes and i could just I, apart from feeling his presence i could see that everybody was feeling his presence like it was a beauty to behold <laughs> it was a beauty to behold and i was just like god i thank you like this is this is it this is it god i thank you i was i was so grateful and i am still so grateful that we could have a program that even even the the the, the um the team that was in charge of our live stream like the team of the studio that were in charge of like making sure everything worked together for our program they too are being blessed they too are being ministered to they too are like they were receiving words for themselves like it was just so amazing and and even after was one of them came to me, like me to tell me that they they were really blessed they enjoyed the program and wow god god <laughs> god is just wonderful um another thing was that um um okay okay another thing i i prayed about was that i wanted um people to i wanted i wanted us to vanish i wanted a situation by um the people who are who are watching the live stream or people who are there physically will not see us that are ministering but would see god and they would be so connected to god and they would just see him like we would just be vessels pouring out his love on on the people like that i just wanted that kind of situation and it happened people experienced his love through us they did not like it was the holy spirit that took over the entire program even from the beginning like from the beginning even the person who handled the first session it was so obvious that the holy spirit was there because when we were having a discussion before they were like we were like oh can we push for um like can we sing for that long and all that but once she just started once we started it was just like a flow that it was like can we even end this program like it was was just wonderful and i still thank god for that i thank god for that and we we also like another thing that happened is that um people received from their father like uh, there was someone who gave a testimony about okay the next day was her birthday and that attending the program was like her own gifts from the father so people received from the father people people um people experienced his love people were revived their hearts were revived people got to know god more people got to experience um experience him on a deeper level and i know that like what has happened what happened on the day of the light of worship has started a fire in so many people they may not realize it but 
it has started a fire in so many people and that fire will span through generations so i am just so grateful that it could be my own program that god could use for such a wonderful thing like that yeah and we're also we're able to worship him like truthfully like that was another thing like everybody um that worshipped him one thing i mentioned was that people should try not to ask him for anything but just worship him because of the god he is have a picture of him in their minds when they're worshiping and focus on that picture as they worship and i think that was what was able to like in in that place of true worship that was where we could really um we could really feel his presence we could really um connect with him and it was such an amazing experience and even at the end of the program people went home there was i didn't hear anything like okay anyone had any accidents or anything so everything i like everything um i prayed for and we prayed for for the light of worship came to pass and i have come to give god the glory i've come to give god all the praise i've come to ascribe all glory and honor because it is not me it is it's it can me do any of these things it cannot it's not possible it's not possible for a man a human being to do what happened at the light of worship so i have come to give all the glory to him who deserves all the glory because from the beginning he knew what he wanted to do he knew what he wanted to achieve he used he uh, he, he used me as a vessel to to pray out the mysteries of the things that he wanted to achieve and he brought everything to pass and that is the kind of god that we serve that's the father that we serve a father that is a master planner a father a father that that will not he knows every single thing and how it's going to happen and he works things around for his good for his um for his total plan for his purpose ah god is a wonderful god (laughs) ah god you're such a wonderful god such a wonderful father everything you do is good everything you do is perfect i've come to give you back all the praise i've come to give you back all the glory i've come to to ascribe all the honor that you deserve because i like i could not have done this program without you none of us who attended this program could have been able to do any of these things without the help of god so i am so grateful to god and I give God all the glory and all the praise for a wonderful program. And if you're watching this video and you want to have a personal relationship with God, this is the time for you to do so. There is no better time than now. Don't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. I, connect with your father today, right now. If you want to have that relationship with him, please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus come into my heart I believe that you died for my sins and that you were raised from the dead just for me I accept your love and I accept your salvation and I declare that all things are passed away and all things have become new Amen welcome 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 to god's family heaven is rejoicing over just you who made that decision today yes just you god is excited and heaven is rejoicing because of you and if that was your first time making that decision or you just had a rededication of your life i'd like you to send a mail to me to lightpersonfied at gmail.com simply saying i'm saved and i'll reach out to you with resources and things to help you along your christian journey if you also if you connected to light of worship or even from this video if you are ministered to even enjoy this video or you, or you connected to light of worship and you have a testimony that you love someone like you love um us to share on the channel to bless other people to encourage other people please send it to me to livepersonfied at gmail.com and i will be glad to share it to encourage somebody and if you have any prayer requests you can also send it to us to livepersonfied at gmail.com and yes we'll be glad to join you in faith and um yes you can also connect with us on instagram at light person by channel and please let us know in the comment section what was your favorite part of light of worship what stood out for you in the light of worship what if you connected with us <laughs> at light of worship let's know in the comment section and um if you are blessed by light of worship or you are blessed by even this video please let me know in the comment section yes and if you did not watch the light of worship like i mentioned you can always go back 
to watch the video it's on the channel just um, once you open the channel you would see lives and you can open it and click the live there and you can watch it completely yeah so like i mentioned it's still blessing me till today so i know it will still bless you whenever you're watching it yes <laughs> so um till we meet again next week remember that you are blessed and loved always bye